this video starts i want your guys's honest opinion on nba 2k23 one being the worst 10 being the best the reason why i'm asking this is because it's always interesting to see people's opinions of nba 2k at the very beginning of the year because obviously when people are playing it there are going to people be people who overrate the game just because it is a brand new 2k now that's not me saying that 2k is a bad game i've actually played a fair amount of 2k23 and i think it's decent but i'm curious your guys opinion on the people who have played nba 2k 23 or not even played it but maybe you've watched it and have formed their opinion on it i want you your guys's opinion out of 10 one being the worst 10 being the best for me myself personally i think right now i would give it a seven and a half slash an eight i think the game is an upgrade from nba 2k 22 now obviously there's going to be a little bit of issues with 2k 2k cannot be a perfect game there's not really many video games out there that can be a perfect game but i do think it is an upgrade from nba 2k 22 i've seen mixed reviews from people's on people on twitter i've seen people say they like certain things about the game they don't like certain things about the game i know that there's a lot of issues right now with post scores apparently there's post scores that can green from the free throw line and they can sit there and hit some ridiculous shots which is interesting because every single year there always seems to be a problem with post scoring i don't know if 2k just never really pays attention to post scoring but there always seems to be an issue with post scoring but i'm curious your guys opinion now with that being said 2k is cracking down on a lot of things this year and that includes boosting there's going to be a clip that i'm going to show on your screen unfortunately i can't show you the clip of the audio because there is background copyright music in the clip because the guy was sitting there streaming and listening to music now this guy right here on your screen his name is bandeezy i mean i believe that's his name that's what all of his ads are this guy hit level 40 now i don't know if i'm I don't know if this is true, but I do think it would be possible to hit level 40 if you got the game early and you literally played every single second of the day, because that means I believe it would be around three days of game time that you would have into the game. But nonetheless, this guy hit level 40. Now hitting level 40 that quick normally means that you're boosting. So this guy was streaming and you guys will see on your screen that this guy literally gets banned. He got banned live on stream as soon as he hit level 40. Now, I wish I could give you guys the reaction, but like I said, there is some background copyright. But this guy instantly got banned after he hit level 40 on NBA 2K23. Now, obviously, there was a reason why he got banned, and that's because people are once again trying to boost. Now, this is a great thing for people who are interested in 2K and play the game a lot because there's so many people who take advantage of the system in 2K and they sit there and they boost to get to level 40. But at the end of the day, there's... I don't even understand the point of boosting the level 40 because yeah sure you can get a little bit of attention for a little bit but other than that what's the point of it you're boosting to level 40 which i believe this season is literally a go-kart and then you just you're gonna get banned at this point so i don't really understand what the point of boosting is but this year 2k23 is not playing around and people are already getting banned my personal opinion this is an absolute great sign for 2k going forward because that means two that means 2k is actually caring about people who grind the game and they care about what's going on in the community which to be honest with you i kind of feel like they didn't really care about that too much in the previous years and it seems this year that they're really stepping up a lot of the things that they didn't do in previous years such as you know actually cracking down on people who are streaming the game early all those people who did get banned and suspended they are all now unbanned and now when it comes to people boosting they're actually cracking down and banning these people now it's not going to eliminate the fact that those people who are boosting are going to continuously cheat and they're going to continuously boost to get level 40 or to get legend and honestly nobody's really gonna care because if you sit there and you boost to level 40 you get banned you boost to level 40 and you get banned again those people are not going to want to do that again but it also isn't going to stop people who are really determined to get level 40 because there's always going to be people who cheat in a video game it's just unfortunately how it is but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like do not forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and like i said put out of 10 what your opinions on nba 2k23 are thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace